and this is our June rubber stamp and digital stamp reveal. Our designers have been working so hard. I've got some incredible samples to show you for this month's stamp set, as well as, if you could see it back here, a beautiful banner. Way to go. Thinking outside the box, I like it. So to get started, we are going to check out this stamp set and this is the colorful Cosmo Bloom stamp set. Really cool. I like the openness of the flowers and discover beauty every day is the saying that goes with this stamp set. And we have this beautiful card. Remember your homework. Make sure you go to the Sparkle and Sprinkle blog and then all of our designers will pop on there and put their new a new card every day on their blog. So check that out and then you can get all the details to everything that goes into these amazing cards. So this one here was done with the beautiful mica mist. So look at the layering detail with all of the beautiful circle dies, the mica mist, and this is a digi stamp. So you can see it's a little bit smaller than the rubber stamp and you have a lot of freedom with the digis. You can shrink them down, you could layer them. So remember to check out the digital options each month for our sparkle and sprinkle stamps. So really beautiful done. You've got the crystal drops and white embossing powder, beautiful glitter accents. This next one has the amazing shimmer powders which are so beautiful, and then the white embossing powder over it. So that is a really fun technique, really fun, love it. So here we are using the shimmer paste, and what a great concept. I love the stamping with the black embossing powder for the stems, and then she used the beautiful doo -doo -doo -doo, hybrid ink, the rose garden, and what a really fun combination. I love that idea, super cool concept. And then the coloring of the background, really neat. And then the use of the glimmer paste, and that is the moonstone. This next one here is a great utilization of your glue pen and the different glitters. So basically what she did here was went and uh, did the coloring first of the stamp and then went with her glue pen and highlighted it with some of the semi-transparent glitters. Really beautiful, love the background. And I love the framing, really cool concept. And the crystal drops, well done. This one here is stamped on the vellum with the black, really different look. Like it's just amazing, you could take that one stamp set and really transform it. All of the different di designers have such different visions for each stamp set, it's incredible. And this one here is the black diamond glimmer paste. Can you see that there? See that texture? How really cool that is? And then you've got the moonstone glimmer paste here as well. A really fun item to use. And then that die set that we all love just for you. And the last two from the stamp collection are really fun dimensional card folds. This one here is a shaker card, which is really neat. So I'll, so you can see the shaker card. Ah, almost dropped my digis. A really cool shaker card. You've got the crystal drops. I love the pop-up frame. And then it's an easel card as well. So really beautiful receiving that as a gift. Just gorgeous and then you can just prop it up and show it off and then last from this stamp set is this beautiful card here by one of our designers and I love the use of the pink and the green together it just looks absolutely beautiful the embossing powders here are used are the cotton candy and the forced juniper and they've got a beautiful shimmer to them and then another fun element of this card is check that out. Like who would not just love to receive something so exciting? And there's still more beautiful detail in here. Now you've got that use of the digis. So all of these are colored version of the digital stamps that we'll be offering this month. So once again, make sure you go to the Sparkle and Sprinkle blog 
and check out all of our designers blogs. So here is just a little sampling of what you get in that digital stamp set. Now when you receive this stamp set, you're able to layer these, which is really nice. You get ones on a white background and then ones that you can layer on each other, which is really fun to do because then you can incorporate, you can make borders, you can combo different digital stamp sets together. Our, and that is by doo -doo -doo -doo, Fred She Said is the designer of this stamp set. Our next stamp set is from, from one of our brand new stamp designers, and this is Beverly Cole. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful line work. I just absolutely love it. These roses are gorgeous, and wait till you see what our amazing design team has done with them. Check that out. This is another fun shaker card. You've got a solid glitter background, and that is the tangerine glitter, and then you've got the luau green as the border. Just really fun. I love how sparkly that is and then the detailing in the coloring. Nicely done. This next one, gorgeous, with the satin cardstock by Tonic, available at sparkleandsprinkle.net. And you've got the purple and gold. Just really simple, fun fold, really fun fold yet really simple, yet looks so elegant. And the embossing powder used here is the Amethyst Spray, so it's a very smooth finish. Next we have this one here. What an amazing design to do the tear with the black and white. I just love it. It's so, it's such a really slick look. Great work. Beautiful, and the embossing powder used here is the, oh, sorry, it's the Mica Mist, the Silver Smoke. That's really cool. I thought it was embossing powder, and my post-it just hit me in the face. You guys didn't see that. So this is the Mica Mist spray through the stencil, and then the crystal drops added to that. Really neat. And then you've got the Rosebud from the stamp set, and the same stamped with white embossing powder. Okay, next, enjoy the little things. How gorgeous is that? All right, we have the beautiful crystal ice glitter done in the background. What is so cool about crystal ice is it's not overly sparkly. It's a really cool glitter that does like just a solid clear. It doesn't have a lot of interference with different colors hitting the light. So beautiful glitter to check out from the Sparkle and Sprinkle transparent line. Here is another card. I really love the Art Nouveau look of this. And this is using the, sorry, the Timber embossing powder. Isn't that cool? Really neat. And that is a digital stamp printed out. And then the crystal drops, really beautiful. You've got the different colors in there from the embossing powder and that is on a piece of acetate. Love it. Okay, next we have a cute little card here and check this out, boop, how fun is that? So that's just taking the digital stamps and layering them as borders on the sides. So printing that out on your cardstock, trimming that and then you have a cool little like door fold, which is very fun. You've got the beautiful butterscotch, butterscotch glitter, the gecko, the crystal drops, really neat. Okay, wow, look at that bad boy. I love the purple with the blue background, gorgeous. And you've got the purple dust glitter and black diamond glitter, just peppered throughout here. The mixed media finish around the frame, look at that, look at that sparkle, ah amazing and that is done with the awesome beautiful morning glory embossing powder and clear detail and dalmatian so you see those speckles of the black and the white that is the dalmatian super thick embossing powder really cool and that's a digital stamp no it's not just kidding that's not the digital stamp she colored that she colored all right, the next one is another very fun fold as well. Look at that, and she used the butterfly from 
last month's stamp set, which is really neat, and just went and layered it on there. So like I said, you have that option when you buy different digital stamps to layer them together. And she's using the wobble, really fun. And look at that, look at every layer is detailed with a beautiful glitter and embossing powder that's got a little magnetic open and close and I just love this fold. There's a little surprise behind every corner on that card, gorgeous. Another fun fold, this one here has a nice little Velcro fastener beautiful stamping and the inside of it with the gorgeous seine. I love the soft look of the lace doily. And look at that, one of my favorite embossing powders and that is the Key Lime Gorgeous. It's a really great green and looks beautiful with that raspberry color. And the Digi's You've got lots of different options. These are just a few, but you can do different backgrounds. Look at how fun this background here is with the checkered background. Really neat. So make sure you check that out. Fantastic job by our new stamp designer, Beverly Cole. Really great. There's some really amazing things coming in the future. Our last two stamp sets, last but not least, you have the adorable Baxter pup sporting the American flag. And then you have the Sophie pup sporting the Canadian flag. So I'm gonna start with the Canadian. And like I said, we've got this adorable banner created by one of our designers here. Really neat, so check it out. I hung it up, but not realizing now you can't see all the details. So check out the blog. Really cute, love the idea. Here is a fun little card. It could be a little placeholder at a party really cute beautiful coloring i love 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 the little the little coloring here on the puppy adorable looks amazing and you've got the glimmer paste and that's the raspberry glimmer paste in there so it looks super sparkly then we have this one here with the beautiful satin cardstock and you've got the crystal drops adorable puppy the embossing pen with the embossing powder, same with used. You can see the little detail on the stamp set. And then this is a really neat one. What a fun mixed media background. And you're using the really cool crushed glass glitter, which is really gorgeous. The crystal drops, the, oh, that is such a cool embossing powder that she used here. That's the blackened bronze, one of our mixed media embossing powders, a very chunky powder. Really love it. And then let me show you the digital. Make sure you check that out. You can blow it up, shrink it down, layer them together. A ton of fun. And now we've got our Baxter Pup, which was the inspiration for this month's stamp video stamp club, which is awesome. This little guy is so cute using some flocking, so he's nice and fluffy. You've got the layering of the mica mist, which is really cool. The stripes in the background, the patriotic ribbon. He is just so adorable. Really well done. I love the glitter trim. Awesome job. This is a great example too of the digital. So you've got this little pup here, which is smaller than this pup. And then I don't know if you've noticed, the flag in the background is the flag on the stamp set blown up. So that is a great, great way to describe how you can use your digis. And then this has got the clearing bossing over it, the flags do, so they're nice and shiny. They've got the glitter used with the brushable glue over the background, and then your mirrored cardstock to really pop in that bits of shimmer, love it. Great work, guys, great work, keep it up. It's been a fun month. All right, we've got our wobbles here, the American flag, really fun. I love the gray background. It's nice and simple and clean and still has just a little bit of spunk. See that, just with that little splashy background, so fun. And then last but not least, beside for the digis, digis is you've got the inspiration for this month's video kit club so make sure you check that out and really fun card lots of glitter i hope you guys check out the video 
for the June video kit club and you'll see how this was done. And make sure you go to the blog, Sparkle and Sprinkle. You guys, important, important, important. Check out the challenge, the Sparkle and Sprinkle. I'm dropping everything. Okay. Make sure you check out the challenge group. There are pop-up contests all the time. Winners every month are picked. So all you need to do is go on there and show, what, show us what you've done with some of your Sparkle and Sprinkle products. There's also free digital stamps to get you started. And there are flash contests. So not only flash discounts with the Sparkle and Sprinkle website, if you go to our newsletter, you're gonna be getting flash contests all the time, but there's flash sales that's what i'm trying to say contest sales you know what i mean so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you go check out all the details on the blog have a fantastic summer you guys Bye bye